Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my content. If you love my videos, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so we never miss another walk around video. All right, first of all, thank you so much to everybody who met me at the Tampa show, everybody who purchased, and everybody who subscribed. We have hit 4,000 subscribers on my channel, which is huge. Uh, we were at 3,500 for the new year, and we are coming in strong. The goal is 10,000 before the end of the year, and I feel like we're gonna clear that out of the park. I am here today to show you a new floor plan that just hit my lot. This is the 2024 Thor Axis. The model is 26.1. This axis always does really well in terms of video content because people love this front end. Check this out. Up front, you've got this really neat little windshield that's actually curved. It's very unique to the Thor axis. They also make a similar sister product called the Thor Vegas. So when you're looking at this big bug windshield, right, you have a class C chassis, but this is gonna be with the class A bus style window. So if you don't like the overhang of a class C, if you really don't need the, um, actually this still has a bunk overhead, so you could utilize that. But if you want the visibility of a class A, but you want the ride and the, and the height of a class C, the axis is definitely a great option for you. You've got upgraded chrome mirrors, right? Sorry, the plastic is still on here because it literally just came from the factory. But you have uh, the side view cameras with the eyelash on them. So this allows you to still see in the rain. You won't get any raindrops in that in that camera, which is big. And coming along the side of it, you do have a bit of storage on the outside for this 26.1. You've got a little storage bay here and there's actually some pass-through storage all the way through. So uh, this is about four inches of clearance up here. Little small things, umbrellas, maybe folding chairs, tiki torches, maybe not tiki torches because they might be too thick to get through, but that is a big deal, that storage bay for this coach. Now the total length of this baby, it's a 26.1 floor plan. The length is 27 feet and two inches. I'll put it down below and also <clears throat> I'll give you the payload rating down below as well. The door right here, there is no electric step on the outside. On the inside, you're gonna have two steps up in. I have the awning out right now. It looks great. It's an armless awning and it does have a wind sensor on it. So if you happen to leave it open and it starts to really shake from the wind, it'll bring itself back in, okay? Big deal, you've got the frameless windows here. And I do wanna point out that even though Thor does a one year uh, bumper to bumper, you do have a six year lamination and a 12 year structure on this baby. So pretty long warranty on this one. It is upfitted by MoRide. So these chassis upfitters are the same that are gonna do ambulances and fire trucks. You know, the ones that are trying to get a needle in the vein going down the road at 60 miles an hour, pretty stable chassis. And so this is what you've got upfitted by MoRide. Another storage bay right here on this 26.1, pretty long. It doesn't go all the way through and it's not that tall. So unsure of what you would keep here, maybe um, accessories for outside, maybe an outside, um, maybe your storage, like your water hoses and things like that. And then moving on down the line, another little storage bay here. Okay, same thing, a little bit smaller than that first one. Right here is your LP hookup. Now what is this? Oh my goodness. Do we have an outside griddle? Heck yeah, that's a huge win. Now I'm not up covered underneath the awning, so it is like you're kind of exposed to the elements out here, but fantastic griddle here is awesome hook it right up your, to your propane connection and this is on a sliding mo ride tray so just pop it right back in when you're done that is super cool for this unit i know people are looking for outside kitchens so that's great feature on the back here you've got the ladder to get up on the roof to check your seals please make sure you get those seals checked at least once if not twice a year and have it resealed once a year professionally or if you think you can do it yourself but just maintain those seals guys that's the biggest issue with people coming back in saying they have leaks and it's because they didn't check the seals maintenance them regularly that's what you got to do with an rv okay back here look at this almost the same storage as my 24.1 axis. You're just missing this side because you have the outside griddle, but still a big amount of storage space. And then on the other side here too, you can access it from the side. Now I will say, um, Gabby could probably get in this thing. Do I want to do it? Should I do it? Okay. <laughs> okay. 
So I fit in it just fine, and you could probably fit two Gabbies in here. Lots of storage here, and it's really, really easy to access from both sides. So I think that's a big deal on this axis. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you have a rear bumper. Oh, thank you. Oh. You have a rear bumper that's gonna protect you a little bit, but you also have a backup camera, and you do have a hitch here. You can pull something. You are rated for up to 8,000 pounds. However, the tongue weight rating on this is 5,000, guys. So I truly wouldn't go above 5,000 pounds on the toe because you have to take into, into account the 10% of the tongue weight, and this can handle 500 on the tongue, not 800 on the tongue. So I would keep it under 5,000 for towing. You have an on-demand tankless hot water heater here, which is pretty interesting. Uh, it's a neat place for it. I've never really seen it up there in the back. That's what first made me realize this was not the same axis that we used to have here because I saw that on the back side. Okay, flex power, 4,000 watt generator. All right, this will run off your gas tank. It will stop at a quarter tank so you don't lose all your gas and you can get to where you gotta go. Outside shower here, really nice. You wanna cl clean off the two-legged, the four-legged campers. You've got that right there. And then you've got a, a this is just the back of your freshwater tank. I'll put the tank sizes down below. I don't know why, I'm trying to figure out why this access panel is here because I don't see any, any drains, any way to get to it. I'm not sure if it's a maintenance panel, but comment down below if, you, if you're more clear on that. You do have the tank flush valve right here. So you have a black tank flush if you need it. And then you have a slide topper on your little slide out. Now this is a Schwinn Tech system, guys, but is a nice small little, um, Slide out, when we get inside, you'll see what's on there. It's not like a heavy duty slide. So the Schwintech should do just fine for this one. And then you've got another little storage bay up here. Same thing, there's the controls. There's the override for the Lippert um, system for your slide. So if you have an issue with the Schwintech, that's where you would reset it to be able to bring it back in. Okay, that about covers the exterior of the Axis. Now let's go on inside and check it out. All right, so now we are standing inside the Axis 26.1. A little bit less noise from the 436 traffic out there. We've got our kitchen when you immediately walk in on the left side of the door. Nice Techniform cabinets here on this. This is an upgraded option for the Axis. And you just lift up and you've got a nice amount of storage. This one's a little difficult with that glass top right there. But nice amount of storage up above. It looks like the shelves are adjustable. Coming down to the kitchen here, you do have a nice looking chrome sink and you have a pull faucet there with a nice big deep bowl sink. I love this sink. I think it's a great use of space for the size of this counter. You do have a power tower right in the middle. Okay, it is also a wireless charger and you've got frameless windows that will open. So even when it's raining, you can open those right up and you can let the uh, smoke clear out if you're, if you're not a great cook like myself. I'm not my husband and sometimes I have trouble cooking. All right, propane cooktop right here. So two burner cooktop there. And then down below, this is the coolest feature for 2024 guys. Now you've got not only convection microwave down here as an oven, but you actually have an air fry and a dehydrate, dehydrator function. So you can now air fry stuff in this microwave as well as dehydrate. I don't know what the heck you're dehydrating out when you're camping, but it's there if you need it. And then you have a ton of storage in these four drawers. And they're pretty deep, as well as the space here. Oh, look, they already have your garbage can there. So that's nice. And that is your little kitchen on the axis. Now, big, your AC is right in the middle here. It is ducted all the way to the front to back. You've got a lovely mirror here and everybody say, hi, Ariana, can you see yourself? Hey, this is my sister Ariana. She came in to shoot some videos for me today. Um, everybody say, thank you, Ariana. And uh, we have our little fridge here for the Axis. Now, it's not that little, actually. It's a pretty big size fridge. And it's a 12 volt fridge. So you're all set up. You've got a nice deep amount of storage in the fridge and freezer. Nice thing. And you do have a solar panel on board here. I'm trying to 100 watt solar panel with the controller there. So that's awesome. All right, and then coming over here, this one has been optioned in with the recliners. It seems like you could also do a trifold uh, sofa if you'd like, but this will pull out and you've got a nice recliner here. It doesn't go back that far. I'm having trouble pushing back on it. So I think it's just really for your legs to keep them up. But right across from me, Ariana, if you want to turn around and show them, you have your insignia uh, TV right there. So you have the, you know, it's a pretty good angle. It's not turned, it's not curved. I'm not cricking my neck to see the TV. So that's a great, great feature. You've got nice, light, nice amount of light coming in here as well. Now for the access storage up above here as well. 
okay? And then what they do is they do have this step up into the cab area, and this is so that for taller folks, you've got more clearance in the actual RV, but there is a quite a big step up to get into this area. Now, I will say up front in the cab area, pretty standard like a Class C. You have your, um, you have your new V8 Godzilla engine in here, right? You're still on the Class C chassis, and you do have your mirror heat, your fog lights, your emergency start, all that jazz, generator start, nightshade is power, so the front shade is power, it'll come right down, and then you have the manual shades on the left and the right. Now here's the thing, uh, this is a power chair, all right? So if I want, for the driver, it's much easier to adjust, move it up and, it's not working right now, probably because I'm not plugged into shore power, but, um, or it's not turned on, but you have six-way power in this seat. This seat is manual, the passenger seat is manual. Um, you should have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on here, and then right over here is your desk, and that opens up, and that's a pretty solid desk to work space out of if you need to. I know sometimes people want to work on the road and they want to go full time and work from home. This is a good utilization of this space to make it like your office area as well, because not a lot of units have desks, and when they have desks, they lose space in other areas. So this is a unit under 28 feet that you have a place to hang out and watch TV, you have a place to cook, you have a place to do your work. So that is really, really great. Now up above here on the axis, you do have a single bed up there. It is rated for 250 pounds. And I will um, take a pause and I'm gonna bring it down and then I'll, sh actually Ariana, you can keep recording, we'll fast forward it, but I'm gonna show what it looks like when we bring it down. sure with the Schwintech slides you press and hold it a couple extra seconds let the motors align and then you're good to go so this bed will sleep uh, uh, you know one adult there is a net up here you've got 250 pound capacity and then underneath here nothing so you are you don't have a, a protection so to say for people not to fall down here uh, ladders probably housed in the bedroom when we get back there and we'll bring that up later so we'll continue on down there is a drawer under the fridge that's different oh that's a pretty good sized drawer so okay next thing in the axis right certain floor plans in the axis the bathroom's a little mm, difficult so this one's gonna have the shower in the hallway right it does just have a curtain um, I can stand in here pretty decently but shoulder rooms a little tight especially facing this way I can put the um, measurements down below on how big this shower actually is I have two inch heels on and my hands are inside the skylight. So wave them like you just don't care. Uh, it's not that tall for you. Now, bath privacy. Open up this door and it's gonna lock right there. You've got a magnet that locks it into place. Oh, sorry, you're looking at the wrong thing. There we go, Ariana. Too fast, slow down, slow down. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> and then moving into the bathroom, you have a porcelain throne. Good access to the toilet paper here. And then a nice deep bowl sink. I mean, it's not super large, but it'll do. Your on-demand controls for the hot water heater are right here. And then you have a place for a towel rack, a plug, and little storage underneath the sink. Not big enough for a garbage can, unless it's a very tiny garbage can. For your medicine cabinets, pretty decent amount of space in that medicine cabinet. So that is your bathroom right in the middle of the axis. And the great news is that you actually have you know, you don't have to do, I know one of the other floor plans, you got to do a little weird motion with the, with the door. And then the sink is facing like a bizarre way. It's because of the axis, it's a small space you're trying to fit in here. Okay, to the back, to the bedroom, to the final place. Queen bed, okay, pretty comfortable. Right in the middle. This is the big deal, okay, there's no slide. Sorry, this is probably really loud because I'm right, I'm right on top of my mic no slide in the back that you need to close while you're driving so the bed is accessible while you are driving you can also park at a place like cracker barrel or walmart if they do not let you open your slide outs you can spend the night in the unit because you have access to the bed you have access to the bathroom you have access to the fridge so great unit for people looking to boondock um, who are unable to open their slides out and again keeping it under that 30 foot range you want to get into all the national parks there are some secret uh, it's only on one side. That's interesting. So there's a secret compartment back there that has a 12 volt plug and the 110 outlets. I believe that's um, prepped for a CPAP. And on this side, you have some same thing, plugs and ports there. You have a wireless charger here, and then you've got a deep drawer as well as two drawers on the other side. Now the question is, 
Oh my goodness, that's hard to open from this angle. Okay, hanging closet. Oh, and there's the table legs for the table that goes, oh no, did they do it again? Guys, two years ago, I did a video on an axis and they forgot to install where the table mounts go. And I'm almost 100% positive seeing those three legs that I'm supposed to have two table mounts here and I'm supposed to have a table mount here. And now we're 20 minutes into the video and learning this. Welcome to the world of RVs here. Nothing is perfect and you need to accept that. We will get that sorted out for whoever wants to purchase this unit. No problem, we'll get those installed. But yeah, there's definitely supposed to be two tables here and that makes more sense because how else are you supposed to eat dinner at those recliners? So anyway, <laughs> um, the bed has two steps on either side, guys. So just keep that in mind to get in and out of the bed there and storage up above. Yeah, and that's pretty deep, that storage. That is basically all I've got on the axis. Uh, if you're still here, thanks for watching. We're going to go ahead and cut and we're going to close the slide and show you what it looks like with the slides closed. All right, so we are inside the axis. I have closed up the slide out. I also raised the bunk bed. And here, here, this is what I was talking about, guys. Full access, full hallway, all the way from front to back. What's interesting is, you can stay right there, Ariana. What's interesting is this says that this seat is not uh, for occupancy while the vehicle is in motion. So just for the record. Legally, you should not be hanging out back here. You should be seat belted in. Yeah, absolutely great amount of space that you could utilize while you're traveling um, or when you're parked and you want to be able to access things. Like I know the top two are, can I get to the fridge? Can I get to the bathroom? And you can absolutely get to both. The slide basically does not affect it. If you wanted to purchase this unit and barely take the slide out, you could still get to everything. The only difficulty you'll have is the driver's seat is very t up t upright right now because it's pretty far pushed back and the slide has to come in and out. Now, one last thing I will say if you're still here, thanks for hanging in there. Um, this bed has two locking mechanisms on each side. Please make sure before you bring that bunk down that you unhook these locks. That's exactly what just happened to me earlier. I almost brought it down and I could have really severely messed up the gears. So thank God that I did not do that. Now, that's all I've got for you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy camping.